Oh, God. No, Tor. The Jesus. Oh, crap. No, the Tor, you gotta <coughs> lift above the. Okay, yeah? Get, get, thank you. Story time. <laughs> okay, so last night I went to Reno, Nevada for the closest branch of Steak and Shake. Um, if you, if <laughs> Steak and Shake is the perfect restaurant for those of you who know, um, who don't know actually, um, Steak and Shake is just the pinnacle of perfection. It's got the best fries, the best burgers, the best shakes. I mean, so basically, they're they're like famous for the steak burger, which is a burger, except instead of a uh, ground beef patty, it's steak. It's good. It's so good. Um, there's also uh, the shake part of Steak and Shake, which is just so many flavors. It's great. Um. Kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, oh. So yeah. <laughs> um, but if I want to tell you the whole story of the whole night of steak and shake, uh, I gotta start from the beginning. Um, so. It all started with a trip to Chico. Um, they were they had to go get something done at a music shop, and they dropped me and my best friend Christian off at the trampoline park, Rare Air. And I was just we we were we were playing right. We were we were having a good time. I was at the Battle Beam, which is like a like a like a thin line that you stand on, and you each get like foam poles, and you beat each other. The first one to fall off the beam loses. Um, <laughs> And I was dominating, right? I was the king of the hill for, like, so long. And then, uh, this guy came along. He was, like, six foot three. And I can't beat somebody that tall, that much weight. So I just kind of accepted my loss, right? And then his three freaking girlfriends all, like, rubbed salt in the wound for no reason. It was like, Wow, you're so short. Here's a little greasy there, bud. And I was like, Jesus Christ. Maybe, maybe he's just, I don't know, twice my size? Jesus. Uh, but I didn't say that to girls, because I, I don't have the courage to. Uh, that was kind of embarrassing. And then, uh, when our jump time was over, we just kind of sat outside of the thing, because Grace just, like, left us there. It, it's a one-hour jump time, right? And she was gone for, like, two hours. So... We kind of like played hooky until the guys caught us. And they're like, "Hey, your 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 jump quota is like 15 minutes over. You gotta go." So I was like, "Ah, oh, crap!" And then I just kind of like stood out front with Christian for like 45 minutes, waiting for Grace to come along. And then she did, and then we left. And then I and then the bomb dropped on me that they we were going to Reno, Nevada. And I was like, oh, "We're gonna get steak and shake." And I was like, "Oh my god, I haven't had steak and shake in six years." Um. So, of course, I went steak and shake, yay! And uh, uh, it was actually the car ride there was pretty interesting. Um, me and my brother played Smash Bros. pretty much the whole way. I dominated as uh, Doctor Mario, um, and ah, hair in my mouth. Other than that, it was just naps. So we get there, right, and. On the 1st of March, Reno, Nevada has snow. It's snowing in Reno, Nevada on the 1st of March. And I'm like, I, ha I haven't seen snow in six years. So I um, I uh, play around the snow for a little bit, and then I slipped, and then I fell. And then I was like, ouch. Because um, it was an ouch moment. But then we went inside. And... Oh, holy crap. It was like stepping into a time machine from six years in my past. And like, which my life isn't very long so far. Thirteen, that's, I was, no, there's no way, that doesn't check out. I'm thirteen now, six years ago would. Round down, I'm eight. That, that makes sense. Um, yeah, uh, so, 
eight, right? <laughs> Imagine me, eight-year-old me, in Paducah, Kentucky, um, just Jay chilling in a Steak and Shake. That was the last time I was at Steak and Shake, and I had forgotten how good it was. Um, I got the butter steak burger, and it was just magnifique. I mean, it was, it was savory, it was sweet, it was everything you want in a steak burger. And it took about 30 seconds to digest. I, I like, finished the burger and my fries and the, and the shake all at once. Maybe that helped. Um, and then, like, 30 seconds later, I was like, Uh, John? John, get out of the booth. I need to use the bathroom. So I go to the bathroom, and it's liquid. It's just... I'm just glad I didn't wet the booth with that, uh, but it, it was, it was, it was very liquidy, it was lava coming out of my butthole, um, please don't get age restricted, <laughs> and then was the ride home, uh, it was just me sleeping mostly, right, but I got woken up, like, three times, um, the first one, we were Blazing down the road because Christ wanted to get home before 2 o'clock in the morning. We left at 6, by the way. Like, after Rare Era and all that, we left from home to Reno, Nevada. Like, the destination was Reno. Uh, from, t like, to Reno from Gridley takes 3 hours to get there and 3 hours to get back. And we left at 6. So, technically we should have got home at 1. Ow! Tor just, like, clawed into my knee. Anyway, um, should've got there, uh, should've got home at, like, 1, we got home at, like, 2.30, and I didn't sleep last night, uh, um, but, well, the first time I got woke up was, we were blazing down a road, and, uh, Grace hit a deer, like, she stopped, the deer stopped. And then the deer went, and then Grace went, but the deer stopped again. Grace did not stop again. So, like, the deer was trying to, like, get out of the way, but it couldn't, and we hit it. But we just kept going, hoping that the deer was okay. It probably wasn't. It's probably dead right now. Um, but, uh, there's, uh, the second time I was woken up, uh, was a speed bump. Grace, once again, was doing, like, 75 on, uh, 55 speed limit, forced by speed bumps for some reason. Uh, or maybe it was just a pothole, I don't know, I was sleeping, and, um, the car goes, dum, 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 dum. like, not that high up in the air, obviously, but it, we did catch some sick air, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, I don't want to die today, so I just, uh, like, prayed that the car wouldn't tip over, it didn't, we're fine, but, like, oh, it was, it was, it was, it was, like, heart rate elevating, the panic-inducing, pure, like, uh And I was like, I, s s like, sit up, and I was like, what the heck was that? And they are just like, go back to sleep, Tom. So I did. And the third time I was woken up was this really loud song about drinking till you die. I'm gonna see if I can get it at anything. But... That's pretty much it for my 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 uh, trip to Reno, Nevada. <clears throat> it's pretty. It, it was pretty eventful. Not gonna lie. Uh, I do have a clip of me uh, in Reno, Nevada, and I will show that to you right after this. So here it is. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. I've traveled like four hours to get to Reno, Nevada, just for. The steak and shake. Oh my god. You see, I live in Northern California. There is no steak and shake in sight. But I came to Reno, Nevada just to get steak and shake with the boys. And this is the first time I've held snow in six years. And I'm not even exaggerating. Oh my god, I freaking love this place. 